Bitcoin price prediction October 2020. Welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocker from Rockstar Trading Channel. In today's video guys, it's a really important update on Bitcoin. So you guys see me making videos on Chainlink, Cardano, you know, coins that are breaking out like Theta. Guys, this is the most important video. I know this video probably won't get as much views as some of the altcoin videos, but if you're looking to make money in investing or hodling, so I'll be sharing with the key levels if you're an investor, if you're a hodler in Bitcoin, very, very important levels that you need to look for if it's going to break out or down. I'll be sharing with you a very key update of a, my trading plan that I shared last month and how I traded it. I'll be showing with exactly how I was trading it, what what plans I shared so you guys can see exactly my plans of trading. And I'll also share with you my Bitcoin and trading investing strategy. So this is probably again one of the most important videos I'll share with you. It's in the library. You get access to all of that. I'll, I'll talk about it at the end of the video if you're interested. And our educational content but let's get straight into the video so the higher time frame plan guys and um, one thing i want to say so if you're a hodler uh, or a trader again i recommend you watch this video till the end and smash that like button if i get a uh, hundred likes uh, i'll release the next coin that could be breaking out i got a thousand a hundred likes in that video i shared with you theta so if i get a hundred likes i'll share with you the next coin that could be breaking out but let's start the video now so i actually invest in bitcoin as well as so i hodl some bitcoin so I, I look to buy long term as well. When prices of Bitcoin are at 10K, 20K, these are not levels to look to buy Bitcoin for higher time frame. So would I buy Bitcoin for higher time frame? If you don't own any and if you're completely new, yes, buy 5% Bitcoin. You know, if you're looking to, if you have $10,000, buy $2,000. And you know, if it breaks out or pulls back, you can buy more if you're completely new. But you know, if you're hodling Bitcoin and if you ask me if it's the best time to buy Bitcoin, I'll say no all the time. Uh, people are asking me around 10K whether to buy Bitcoin. And I was looking to short it when it broke out. If you guys watch my videos, uh, previous videos, I shared with you exactly in the video strat video which strategies I look to buy, what levels I look to get in, and in the Telegram group where I can be more live and other people are trading. I share with you exact levels of when I'm getting in, and other people are posting trades and coins as well. So the plan that I shared and people will say, oh, uh, Rocco, are you saying this after the fact? This is not after the fact. You know, back in February, we had a big move up and then we broke down. We pulled back to this level and we broke down. This was shared live. And to be honest, guys, my bias is bearish. You know, we came here, we pulled back to this zone. This was, uh, I'll share with you the plan that I had shared. It pulled back to that key zone and then guys it's rejecting now so if it breaks down from here guys I would actually look to take a short uh, one of the shorts that I did take that worked really well uh, let me go back to this chart now so this is the uh, short that we took uh, when it broke down inverse head and shoulders I closed half here and I closed half when it was breaking out above I'm waiting for a trade now I'm not in a trade if Bitcoin breaks below 10.5 10.4k I will look for a short and the reason why Bitcoin is so important is that whole market is dependent on Bitcoin guys if Bitcoin dumps you'll see all the coins dumping and I'll be looking at Bitcoin dominance chart as well if you're hodling or investing cryptocurrency but this is a very very key level so short time frame guys this is what I'm looking at long time frame I'm wrong and I'll turn bullish if we break out above 11.2 11.4k you know back here when Bitcoin broke out here this was the level I turned bullish 9.4k. I literally just bought some with the guys, and then when it was breaking out, there was loads of opportunities uh, to get in. There was a nice breakout trade here. There was a six, uh, five minute uh, pullback trade I posted. So I'm gonna do the same. If we start bre breaking out about 11.2, 11.4k, I look for a trade long. Otherwise, my bias is short. Longer time frame, so that's for traders. If you need trading information for longer time frame, guys, I'm looking at this nine, uh, 10k level. If we break below 10k level, guys, Bitcoin could be uh, having a bigger move down and I think it could be moving down towards the 8k level and this this zone you know uh, if it dumps to 8k I'm gonna look to buy some and then if it dumps to 6k I'll literally buy some and hold and it could go a lot lower uh, back when we were at here guys it dumped to 3k I actually bought some at 4k and I was like look I'm happy with it I'm just gonna hold and I bought bought some and I just held that I was like look that's my target I'm gonna hold and it consolidated for ages and it turned out to be the best trade and it was the same back you know when we had a dump people get scared we want to do opposite and if people get scared I'm gonna look to long it and another thing is you know I see lots of youtubers now it's a new thing loads of youtubers again I'm, I'm a youtuber as well but I try to stay away from the, the usual social media they're all getting bearish on this so if it breaks out i'm literally going to switch my bias from a higher time frame point of view now we are at weekly moving average so if you if if we are going to get that big bull move this is where it should hold so if it holds this you know i'm not bearish here i talked about 10k level if it breaks 
out this is great you know back when we had that big bull move we always stayed above the 20 weekly moving average if you are an investor or a hodler just look at the weekly to 20 moving average when we got above it we had a big rally during that rise we always stayed above it back you know since October we saw you can see the big bull market if we do break up there's always going to be opportunities we've had 30 40 percent pullbacks to the weekly moving average as long as this holds a higher time frame we are still a bullish I'm not just getting too bearish if you break below 10k and give it you know stay below it give it pullback entry you know make sure you have a strategy whether you use mine or you learn one make sure you have a strategy guys because if you're just buying and selling uh, for long uh, and with emotions you're not gonna make money in this I know a few people that sold at you know 5k 6k Bitcoin when it was dumping you don't do that you know you need to make sure you get in when people are extremely bearish and you know you do the opposite because most people lose money in trading that's why I teach a pullback trading strategy so higher time frame that's my uh, idea let me share go share with you my cleaner chart so higher time frame guys we are at weekly support if we break out above like i said 11.2 11.4k i'm gonna look to be really bullish and i think that's when we could target you know 13 14 15k and if we break out above it that's when we get really bullish and we look for the moon targets another thing i want to share with you is the stock market correlation this is one thing i use in the group to predict where bitcoin is going bitcoin is heavily related to it i would like bitcoin to decouple from stock market and gold correlations that's when bitcoin you know we dream that dollar there's going to be dollar weakness stock market crash and people will get into bitcoin at the moment this is not the narrative at the moment it is looked at as a, ri a risk asset where stock markets go up that's when bitcoin is uh, goes up or down so we need to see bitcoin break out of it and moon and we want people to get in if you love bitcoin that is what we want to see so that's my quick update for this month uh, if the short time frame i'm looking at you know 11.2 11.4k uh, and if you break below 10.5 i look for a short to find support at 10k if we start getting back below 10k that's when uh, we will get bearish so that's my plan if you are interested in our educational group i'll leave the links below i'll do three to four live streams there so check it out if you're interested if not guys make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching this video like i said this is a really more more important video than these videos this is a video long term i'm massively bullish on bitcoin and if bitcoin could go to zero anything can happen you know or if oil can dump to zero bitcoin can dump to zero as well but it will affect me a lot because i'm i'll finish on this note i'm hodling bitcoin as well because sometimes guys you know on youtube and twitter and facebook you see always people posting winning trades you don't win all your trades i have a setup if bitcoin just starts going up i'm not saying it will if it just starts pumping from now and starts to keep going up i'm gonna miss my trade so that's why i actually huddle some bitcoin because you know bitcoin could you have a big spike down stop people up and go up you know if bitcoin keeps doing this I don't know anyone will be able to make money if Bitcoin keeps. I'm not saying I've never seen a chart like that. Usually, you know, chart trends and breaks out. But if Bitcoin does this, then we're not going to make money. So that's why I huddle some Bitcoin as well. And uh, outside of exchanges, I'll make videos about how to secure your bitcoins properly you know there's a uh, really it's really important to secure your bitcoin outside of exchanges or if you keep exchange you don't really own the bitcoin you don't own the key you're you know uh, some things i recommend is spreading bitcoin in different exchanges having different email addresses and ideally own your bitcoin separately outside of exchanges where you can actually own your bitcoins so i'll make a maybe a video if you're interested let me know how to secure your bitcoin and store it securely i'll, I'll make a video on that but these are the really important videos and hopefully some of my core fans will watch this and comment below if you like it as well i'll try and make this video at least once a month i'll keep making those videos as well the prediction and altcoin videos that people love because that they seem to get more views it's a lot of effort for not many people to watch but you know i know some people appreciate this video so i'll carry on making this video so thank you very much guys and smash that like button comment below any other coins you want me to do a review on um, comment below if you enjoy this uh, bitcoin videos i'll try and make more and i'll do a live stream soon as well so make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button maybe next week i'll do a free live stream on youtube i've not done in a while so thank you very much guys uh, thank you uh, for watching to end the video my question to you guys is what is your thoughts on bitcoin do you think that it's a very uh, bitcoin is going to be bullish this year do you think it's going to be bearish do you think it can finally break out of that you know stock market correlation and bitcoin could moon comment below i've shared with you my long-term prediction i mean i would love a pullback to sort of 8k 7k and then go up if it carries on without me i talked about key levels uh, to summarize 11.2 11.4 draw this in the chart and watch it and uh, let me know and i'll make another video if things change
in the group i provide updates you know daily and live streaming but yeah if you're watching it on youtube i still appreciate you all i'll keep providing content what i will say is look for 11.2 11.4k to hold if it breaks out i think 12k would be the next target if it breaks below 10.4 i'm going to target this you know look for a pullback setup if it spikes that's no good and then if it breaks below 10k that's the key level you know if you're a hodler or an investor that's the key level we'll be targeting this so thank you very much guys comment below your price prediction smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much